I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks, and I thank the uh, Without objection. chairman for uh, yielding. I am an original co-sponsor of 1151, but the original bill never came to the committee. It was quickly substituted with another bill, which I think is uh, seriously weakened from the original uh, bill that we had. So I would like to let all those 207 members who are co-sponsors that you're not voting on the bill that you signed your name onto. There are two major changes that have occurred. One is that the uh, multiple common bond uh, position of the 1151 has been removed. Now it is restrictive. And uh, the other thing is, is there's been uh, a lot of regulation regulations added. And I think that we should consider long-term economic consequences and political consequences of opening up the door to regulations and, uh, and also what it means uh, down the road as far as insurance goes. For, for instance, it was bragged upon, this, the bill was bragged upon because the regulations of safety and soundness was good. We've had a lot of regulations of safety and soundness for banks and, and uh, savings and loan, and yet the FDIC and FSLIC had to be bailed out. The insurance deposit for credit unions was started by private money, no government subsidies, and has never been bailed out. So now we're going to overlook the credit unions and make sure they're safe and sound. I think it's the wrong direction that we're going. I think the whole notion that we are going to have Community Reinvestment Act applied to the credit unions is going in the uh, wrong direction. Uh, this is a form of credit allocation and actually long term will weaken the credit unions. I would like to speak up today for the credit unions and say this bill has been weakened to such a degree that they have opened up the doors that down the road they are going to be treated like the banks and down the road they'll probably receive the taxation that banks have. I resent the idea that the, comp the competitors and the small banks who don't like the competition of the credit unions, they say, well, let's tax them and let's regulate them. So in a way, we have a accommodated the banks by adding the regulations onto the credit unions. I do not think this is going in the right direction, and we should seriously consider a no vote on this legislation.